Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys a lesser known feature of Stream Elements. Continuing our Stream Elements series, I want to show you how to set up the new mobile app for IRL live streaming with custom alerts. In order to make this work right, the first thing everybody has to do is connect their Twitch account to Stream Elements on the desktop. You want to make sure you can get logged in Stream Elements with your Twitch account. Once you've logged in, and you have your Twitch account connected to Stream Elements, the next step is that you're going to want to go and install the app. Now this will only work on Android for right now. So go to the App Store, Google Play, and install the Stream Elements Twitch and YouTube IRL live stream app linked in the description. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is set up the app on your phone or mobile device and get logged in all the way once you've logged in on the app, you're going to be able to go back to Stream Elements on desktop and go into your overlays and you're going to see a new overlay was created because you logged in on the phone. You're going to see a mobile alerts. Do not rename this. It is very risky to rename this. I renamed it as a test and if you rename it improperly and you name it in a way it doesn't like, the alerts will not connect to your mobile app. The other thing you should know is that you're going to want to test the alerts with the app open before you go live because it takes a second for the overlay on your phone to load properly. So if the alerts look weird or they look funny, the first time they play, they may not load right. So you may want to refresh the overlay or restart the app if they're not loading right. So test your alerts before you go live. Once you've got the mobile alerts overlay created though, you can then set it up to have completely customized layers and alerts. You can set this up just like any other stream. You can have your chat box. You can have all your custom alerts that you have set up. So here's what I have. I moved my alerts, my main alerts from my desktop from my Sunny Machine stream over to the mobile one, and I optimized them for mobiles. You're going to want to do some tweaks and some settings so that the text looks right on mobile. But... All you have to do is add your alerts into this overlay and they'll work on the mobile app while you're live on your phone. You can have custom alerts and you can turn off the original alert box. Originally, when you first open this, you're only going to have one layer, the, the alert box that was created for the mobile alerts. And if I test this, test a follow alert, you'll see, ignore my alert playing in the background there. This is what the alerts will look like on mobile. Uh, they're not great. They're, they're hard to see on mobile, actually. I suggest everybody make custom alerts. Keep this alert box in there as a backup and just turn the visibility off. And then what you can do is take your main alerts from your other overlays, you click on it, you say duplicate and say other overlays, and then choose your mobile app in here, it'll say the mobile alerts and you can duplicate them over. So now if we test a follow alert, you're going to see my alert show up here in the overlay. Make sure you hit save when you're making changes, otherwise it won't show up on the phone properly. So let me show you what this looks like in the phone app. So here we have the phone app and you can see I've got the infinite quality lower third animation did show up here. Um, I can save this and show that to you again. So the all overlays will work in here properly. Just make sure that they are in the scene and that they look right to you. I will test a follow alert. So you're going to want to tweak the settings, but your alerts will work just like this. This is my follow alert that I built for my desktop stream, and here it is running on the mobile app. Your alerts your chat, you can t have people type things. If you have people type things in the chat, emotes, Franker faces, better touch TV emotes. Now the quality on this capture is very poor. It will look a lot better when you're actually live. Capturing my phone through screencast is not the greatest quality. But I will say that this is pretty amazing that you can actually set up your alerts and overlays to work. You can have all kinds, of, all your variations will work, all your sound effects will work. If you have multiple kinds of effects, anything like that.
So anything that you set up in this overlay is going to work on your overlays on the stream. You can actually read the chat right on your uh, audience view in the phone app rather than looking at the chat view that's like massive and takes up most of the screen. This might be a better way for you to interact with your audience. You can read the chat right on your stream itself, right on the camera on the phone. Now this is going to look better when you go live on the app than it does through what I'm doing right now because the screen sharing process to get my phone screen to the capture card is not great. It's a very low quality. But nonetheless, this is a handy little tool if you're going to do live streaming IRL and you want to have that just that notch up towards better quality on your stream, on your mobile streams. It can take you just a little bit of time to move your alerts over. I would recommend that everybody put a shadow, a text shadow underneath everything they, and make the text large and test all of this stuff out. Test all of your alerts out or just use the default mobile overlays. But if you want to add things like little animations, graphics, anything else, an overlay for your mobile stream, this is how you would do it. Just make sure you do not rename the overlay so that the overlay does not get disconnected. And before you go live, test 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 if something doesn't look like it's loading right change the overlay settings by hiding a layer then unhiding the layer and hit save and get everything to load up in the phone it's still in beta it's going to get better and i can't believe it's this good to be honest the fact that you can just bring in webm alerts right through a browser source on your phone is pretty 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 crazy so thank you um if you guys enjoy this video and this found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions. I will see you in the next one.